want a nugget of truth to start out your day? If so, you have come to the right place. Here we give you a devotional power boost to the beginning of your day and pray that God will bless you as he sees you on your way. Welcome and so glad you have joined us for yet another daily devotional on Frame with a Mission. I am reading from Amazing Answers to Big Bible Questions. Today we are going to be studying, Does God harden people's hearts? Our Bible verse today is from Romans 9, verses 18, 22, and 23. He has mercy on whom he wills, and whom he wills he orders. What if God wanted to show his worth and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering, his vessels of wrath prepared for direction, and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which he had prepared beforehand for glory, even us whom he called not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Here's an example where I think this passage is doing. The Amalekites had attacked Israel from behind when they came out of Egypt. God told Moses that he was going to show mercy to his heathen nation for a period of time, but eventually their judgment would come. The judgment that was coming on the Amalekites was based on their behavior. God chose to extend mercy to them longer than some other nations. The penalty of sin is death, Romans 6 verses 23. We could all be justly executed now for our sins. When God extends grace, he extends it in varying degrees. Sometimes God strives longer with someone, but he is saving everyone by grace. None of us deserve salvation. Romans 9 verses 21 says, Has the potter no right over the clay to make out of the sum lump one vessel for honorable use, another for dishonorable use? God, is, God does exercise his choice concerning what he does with the clay. How to inter intervene, for instance. In the Old Testament, we have another example in Proverbs, in Pharaoh. The Bible says that God hardened Pharaoh's heart, Exodus 10 verse 20, but the Bible also tells us that Pharaoh hardened his own heart. See Exodus 8 verses 15, Exodus 8 verses 32, and Exodus 9 verses 34. He gives us opportunities time after time to come to a realization of the truth, and it is God's desire that all men be saved. Yet he is the one who chooses how much grace, how many opportunities to give. God is going God is doing everything he can to save people, but ultimately our destiny is in our own hands. If you have enjoyed this devotional, then please look around and find the like button and give it a friendly tap on the shoulder. Put a comment down there and tell me which part of this devotional was your favorite, which part you got out a good nugget that you can take throughout the day, um, and just consider subscribing because the more the merrier and, you know, God's family is not a small family. So if you would love to join us in this adventure of Praying with a Mission, check out what we have below. There are many other options and see you